Welcome to this demonstration of ForestSafe OEM integration. In this demonstration, ForestSafe is managing credentials for an IBM Tivoli Application Dependency Discovery Manager, TADM. So let's get started. We are logged in to this Windows workstation as domain user Tim, who has been set up in the ForestSafe TADM Administrators Group. Let's launch ForestSafe. Apart from reporting, Tim has been given access to only three Forest Safe functions. Password Vault has been configured to allow Tim to retrieve the TADM administrator password. Remote Terminal has been configured to allow Tim to launch a session on the TADM server. And as we will be controlling TADM manually in this demonstration, Tim has been also given access to the job scheduler, which he may not normally require. So let's log on to the TADM server and launch the TADM interface. Tim has auto logon configured, so he is unable to see or choose his own password, but he has to give a reason which is logged why he's accessing the system. Now let's launch the TADM interface. ForestSafe is managing the TADM administrator account. So to log on, Tim has to retrieve the password from ForestSafe. Again, he has to give a reason which is logged why he's retrieving the password. Now that he has the password, Tim can continue the TADM logon. Before we begin, notice that there are no scope records and no access lists. There are no credentials stored in the TADM system and no topology. So let's prepare TADM for a discovery by invoking the ForestSafe prepare job to create the scopes and access lists. The prepare job has started. Let's take a look at the ForestSafe job control language that tells ForestSafe what to do. The ForestSafe grant access function is being used to create an account called TADM ACK with the same password on all Windows machines and another on all Unix machines. Various database passwords are also being retrieved. These accounts are deleted or scrambled after a preset time. Here it is set to 30 minutes. In this demonstration, Tim will be invoking the ForestSafe TADM jobs manually by clicking the test function. But jobs can also be invoked automatically by the ForestSafe job scheduler. There is also a secure ForestSafe CLI and API available to invoke jobs externally. The prepare job has created two new scope records and five new access list records. Let's return to TADM and see the results. All the scopes and the access lists have been created, so we can start the TADM discovery. The discovery job control commands are set to start a discovery on two scopes. Then after the discovery has completed, it will remove them along with the access lists the prepare job created. Let's wait for the TADM discovery to start.
The TADM discovery has begun. This will take approximately 15 minutes to complete. So let's break and rejoin the demonstration as the TADM discovery is completing. 15 minutes has passed and the discovery is about to finish. So let's monitor the completion. The TADM discovery has completed successfully. Within the next five minutes, ForestSafe will clean up the TADM at ACK accounts it created during its preparation job and scramble the database passwords. The system will then be completely secure again and all access to the TADM server can be accounted for through the ForestSafe audit reporting system. Notice the job log. The discovery took 16 minutes to complete and then ForestSafe removed all the scopes and access lists. Let's return to TADM and check the results. There are no scope sets and no access lists. but we have discovered components. Let's drill down into this Oracle database that's been discovered. Thank you for watching the ForestSafe OEM integration demonstration. ForestSafe resolves the issues of agentless systems, enabling customers to implement systems that are secure and cost-effective.